This AI automation in Make and N8N generates amazing carousels using Gamma's new templates API. And the best part is you can automatically generate these carousels and publish them to social media platforms automatically. So this entire flow is 100% automated and I'm gonna give you the templates for free using Make and N8N. So you can download whichever tool that you actually use. My name's Sabrina Romanov and I previously sold my AI company for millions of dollars and now I teach millions of people AI for free. Quick caveat, I build lots of these AI automation templates for content creation, and I encourage you to use them as a starting point for your custom build and use case. It does take trial and error to tweak these parameters and tweak the prompt so that you get a social media output that resonates for your niche and audience. And honestly, unless you're a small business, I do recommend adding a human in the loop approval step to ensure quality. Here's how the template works at a high level, and I'm going to show you how it works in Make, but the logic is actually identical between the make templates and the N8N templates. It's just make is a little bit easier to read. This is going to run once per day and check your Google sheet for new rows. And the Google sheet we have is very simple. You just fill out the prompt you want, the caption, which will be posted along with your social media post. And this status column posted will update automatically when your post is published to your social media accounts. So all you have to do really is fill out the prompt you want for the carousel and then the caption you want to be posted along with your carousel. Okay, this automation checks once per day for new rows, and I've limited it to only one, meaning it's only gonna grab one of the newest rows from that day. The next step is to generate the carousel. This, so this uses Gamma's new templates API, where you can basically create a branded custom templates carousel for your company, and then just populate it with new information each time. So that's what this prompt does. The next step is to wait for that carousel to generate, and then this step, fetches the carousel when it's done. This step over here, convert PDF to PNG. So Gamma returns a PDF containing your carousel, and we need to convert this into PNG format so that we can post it to the social media platforms. This step uses a tool called Cloud Convert that automatically imports your PDF, converts it into a set of PNGs, and then returns the URL so that you can post it to social media. And then this last app over here is called Blotato. This is an app I built for myself as a content creator to help me scale across multiple platforms simultaneously. And all it does is it takes your carousel images, okay? It takes your caption from your Google Sheet and it posts it to these social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, TikTok, Twitter, and Pinterest. The very last step is just to update your Google Sheet to mark this as posted. So this will turn into yes once it's actually posted to all your platforms. Now the N8N template, like I said before, is identical in logic. The main pieces that are different is that I had to resort to HTTP calls to call the Gamma API to create the carousel. This is only because I want to return it as a PDF. If you use the pre-built Gamma node in N8N, it's not going to give you this option. Similarly for Cloud Convert, the N8N node is a bit limited, so I just resorted to API calls that converts the PDF to a series of PNGs, waits for that task to complete, and then retrieves the final URLs. So the logic is absolutely identical, it's just I'm resorting to HTTP calls for these two steps. Now, what we want to do next is set up our accounts. So like I said, you'll need to sign up for Gamma, for Cloud Convert, and for Blotato. If you're not familiar with it already, Gamma allows you to create presentations, slide decks, and now social media posts, such as carousels and slideshows. And so it's a really, really neat tool. You will need to be on a paid plan in order to access the API. Similarly, Cloud Convert is really handy if you build a lot of workflow automations. It's a file converter that's very, very flexible. You can pay just for a package of a certain number of credits or you can subscribe per month. And then the last tool you'll need to sign up for is called Blotato. This is the tool I built to help myself scale as an AI education creator from zero to 1.5 million plus followers in the past year and a half. And here you will need to pay for access to use the API. The next step once you set up your accounts is setting up your API key. So let me go to Gamma real quick. On the left sidebar, click Settings and Members, and then click API Keys. This is where you're going to create your API key, and then go ahead and create your credential in Make or N8N. So in Make, you would open up this connection. This would be blank, right? So you would click Add, and then it's going to ask you for your API key. Okay, similarly for Cloud Convert, you want to 
in the top right corner, click dashboard, click authorization, click API keys, okay, and generate your API key. And again, in make, so go here, open Cloud Convert, this connection will be blank, click add, click API key, and paste your API key in there. Okay, the last step is for Blotato, go to settings, bottom left corner, click API, generate your API key and copy it. Go over to make, open one of these nodes and add that connection just like before. For any then, there's a little bit of extra setup involved. You do need to have verified community nodes enabled in your NADEN admin panel. So if you're using NADEN Cloud, you can absolutely use this. You just need to open your NADEN instances admin panel and then look for verified community nodes in the setting. If you're using self-hosted NADEN, you would just go over here to settings community nodes, and this is where you'd install additional community nodes, okay? So the ones we want are this one, Blotato NADN nodes, Cloud Convert, and Gamma. Okay, so make sure you install all three of these nodes. Then once you do that within NADN, you can set up your credentials. So here, open up this HTTP request and then method post, predefined credential type, gamma API, and then select and then create new credential here where you would fill out your API key. Okay, so do that for Cloud Convert as well and Blotato as well. The last step and probably the most annoying step for NADN, honestly, is setting up your Google Sheets trigger. So open this um, and then it's going to ask you to connect to your Google Sheets. If this is empty, click create new credential. And honestly, it is kind of convoluted going through this process. So I suggest clicking open docs, okay? And it's gonna walk you through exactly how to do this, which I'm not gonna cover in this video. Okay, now let's begin setting up the rest of the workflow. So you'll wanna copy this Google Sheets exactly. I'll have the link in the newsletter and the help section of Blotato, but basically just copy it exactly. If you're new to workflow automations, don't change any of these columns yet. Just make sure you have the entire workflow started. And assuming you've already connected your accounts over here, you, the next thing to customize is your Gamma template. So head over to Gamma. Okay, it should look like this. And then if you haven't already created a Gamma presentation, let's go ahead, click Create New, click Generates. And I just like to reduce this to five cards. Click Social, let's do like ChatGPT prompt tips. You can either change it to Portrait or Stories. Let's just keep it Portraits. Generate Outline. And you can choose these settings, like how much text per card, uh, what design you want, etc. I'm just gonna go ahead and click Generate. All we're doing here is creating our first gamma carousel and then what we can do is convert it into a template so here it's actually creating in real time once it's done you can click this button so go ahead and click save copy as templates let's just call it slideshow template okay open template in editor and then to actually use this template through the api click api in the upper right corner this is where you are going to get your gamma templates id so go ahead and click copy now head over to make and then open the create carousel node you're going Going to want to paste your gamma ID over here. Similarly in NADN, open up the create carousel node and paste your gamma ID right over here. Now assuming you've already connected your cloud convert account and everything, you don't have to change anything here. Uh, the next thing you'll want to set up is your Blotato publishing. So when you're first testing this out, I honestly recommend disabling all of the routes except just one platform. So just make it work for one social media platform and then you can enable all the other ones. So go ahead and open the this top one. Okay, make sure your Blotato account is connected. You're going to want to select your Instagram account from this drop down menu. And then for testing purposes, I usually choose a scheduled time far in advance. So this is scheduled for January 1st. Okay, and that way I can view it scheduled in my calendar, but not yet posting because I just want to test that everything works. Similarly, in NADN, do the same thing. So make sure you have connected your Cloud Convert account over here, authentication, predefined credential type, Cloud Convert API and then create your API. Okay, you, this is where you put your API key. Sometimes I see this issue couldn't connect with these settings, but then it actually works. So don't be too concerned if you see this error. It, it probably will still work. Just like in Make, you'll want to set up your Blotato social media account. So connect your credentials, select the platform, right? And then select your account from this drop-down menu. And just like before, for testing purposes, I like to add scheduled time and then just schedule it far in advance for testing purposes. That, that way, in case something goes wrong, you don't accidentally post to all of your social media accounts. It's just scheduled out in your calendar. Okay, the next step is testing your workflow. So if everything looks good to go, go ahead and run the workflow. And if you're new to make, you can actually right-click this Google Sheet thing and click choose where to 
starts. And just to make it simple, just choose all and it's going to grab the first sheet in that row. OK, and then click run once. Once you actually have it running once, you can click this purple button, run with existing data. And so you can run it again with the exact same data. And this just makes it super, super easy. And you can see I've already run this. You can see that it's successful, right? You click these little icons here to see the inputs and the output. So over here in Blotato, you can see the post submission ID. And then you can go to your Blotato calendar to actually see all your posts scheduled. So here you can see for January 1st, this is the make automation scheduling for January 1st. And then for January 2nd is the N8N automation. So this is just for testing purposes, but you can see everything scheduled out and ready to go in your calendar. Now, if you do run into any errors publishing to social media, go ahead and click API dashboard in the left hand side and you can see exactly all of your API requests. And if there are any errors, you can expand each of these to see exactly your request payload and exactly what the response was. Okay, so now let's try running it once with this brand new template that we just generated. Uh, let's run it in NADN and I'm just going to change the gamma ID over here. Okay, and all of my Blotato nodes are set to publish on, in the future for testing purposes. So I can go ahead and just click execute workflow here and test everything. Now these wait nodes are in place just to protect and ensure that it's done. Um, so this will wait 90 seconds, then fetch the carousel. And assuming it's done, then it will move to converting that carousel into a PNG format. And then when that's done, it's going to go ahead and post to all the social media platforms. And here this loop is in place. Like if the carousel is not done for any reason, it's going to continue waiting. It's now done posting to all the platforms. So let's go check our Blotato calendar, refresh this and scroll down. And so on January 2nd, this was the first batch from N8N with my previous templates. And now you can see the new batch using the new templates that we just created, right? So you can see this, you can preview it. And by the way, if you want to reschedule this, you can always hover over one of these and click move to drafts. You can change the caption and reschedule it as needed. And when it's posted in the Google Sheet, you should also see this column update to posted yes. So that's it for the entire workflow. And just to recap, I put placeholders here for where you need to set things up. It's mostly about setting up your accounts, the keys, right? So configuring your Google Sheet here, connecting your Gamma credentials and creating that Gamma template like we did here, copying that template ID over here, setting up your Cloud Convert account. Okay, you don't really need to touch any of the parameters here or anything, just set up your account. And similarly for Blotato, you don't really need to touch any of the captions or anything here until you're ready to optimize and customize them. But my general advice is always to make sure everything works out of the box first as your base templates and then make another copy. And that's where you can start experimenting with things, uh, changing some of the prompts. Maybe you want to uh, customize the captions for each social media platform. There are all kinds of things you can do on top of using this template as a base. Now, if you have any questions or need help troubleshooting or debugging this automation, the best place to reach me is go to Blotato on the bottom right corner. Okay, there's an orange button here where you can send me a support message. My AI bot will always try to answer first, but I generally try to respond to everybody's questions within 48 hours. Also, I highly recommend using the API dashboard in Blotato because it gives you all the information you typically need to debug what your issue is. 